So in two years time, it's actually not so long a period of time, right? But what I can say at the level of the industry, we have observed the continuation of some structural changes and trends. First, consolidation. We have seen that some of the smaller players have been acquired by larger players. What we have seen as well is in this industry, the automation and the digitization taking place at all levels. Um, more or less with success and what has as well changed is the intensity of the regulatory environment when it comes to some specific topics like suitability and appropriateness. What has changed for the clients is probably the expectations of higher and better services which inevitably in that definition include a digital service because anytime, anywhere is what is expected from any industry. But also what has changed for the client is the realization, particularly in Greater China, that maybe the years of double digit returns have kind of passed and five, six percent is a good return even for a Chinese investor. So there's a bit more of humility in the expectations of this return, not so much in the expectations of the service levels provided by the bank. The guidance is actually uh, very simple. Uh, you need to embrace change because it's inevitable. You need to stay very creative on the uh, innovation side and please go digital. But while you develop your market, think that wealth is domestic and therefore offshore banking alone will only capture so much going forward. So you have to have strategies for going into China and finally, do not underestimate the complexity and the necessary investment in risk management and effective controls. This is a complex environment which requires very tight governance and 200% respect of the regulatory obligations. What is next after Canopy? We are, for instance, in the very near future, we are going to emphasize the connectivity of the clients with the bank through the introduction of WeChat as an official channel of communication with the bank to place order or to transfer signed documents or to do any kind of account maintenance operation linked to documentation and confirmation. This will be, one more time, integrated on the digital private banking platform of Credit Suisse as a SAP account, as a SAP functionality, auditable, secured and traceable by the auditors. So that's pretty innovative because we will be the first one to go to market with that.